idea. I'm waiting. From your first day as a Padawan, you knew your destiny was a road different from all other sentient creatures. I can't help it, Master. I love her. Thoughts give you away, Paitia, as does her perfume. I can't help it, Master. I love her. You say that as if you've come to a decision. I thought I had, but now I'm not sure. Your own mother was faced with this choice, Pai. She surrendered you to the Jedi that you might become more than you could ever be in her care alone. She cried all the way to Coruscant. Though she never doubted for a moment, she couldn't stop crying. Why couldn't she? Because her greatest sacrifice as a mother was motherhood itself. I was her prized possession, and her greatest act of love was to refuse to be possessive of me. She gave me up. Such are the sacrifices of love, and the perfect way of the Jedi. To love all, and possess none. I confess, I'm having a hard time believing that I cannot love all, if my heart is also given to one. Indeed. You are giving thought to abandoning the Jedi Order. Don't talk to me about sacrifice. Not after what you did. Child, please. I'm no child to you. Pi has been your project all these years. My Padawan. And I will let him go. As you must if you love him. And if I refuse? <laughs> Why were you talking with her? All Jedi face the darkness of an unknown future. Your years of training are nearing their end. Destiny lies before you. You face a choice. What's in there? What you choose to find. He told me the truth. The truth I was unwilling to tell myself. What do you mean? I can't do this. I can't be a Jedi and be your husband too. So if it's a matter of choice, why not choose me? Yuri, I love you, but I can't- You love me? This is a strange way of showing it. Yuri. It's him. Your precious master. He's making you do this. Don't speak of him like that. He's been a father to me. You must understand, I can't turn my back on the Jedi. It's what I am. How noble of you, sacrificing your passions for the words of dead men. I can understand why you feel this way. I've misled you. It's my fault. Blame me. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. I do blame you, but most of all I blame Orpheus. Why do you hate him so much? He has done more harm to me than you will ever know. 
I know he prevented your acceptance into Jedi training. I thought you were wiser than that, Pi. How can you expect to be a Jedi when you don't even know your own master? Don't you recognize the lies he's told you? When you say you're one with the Force, you have no idea. Please. Stop! But it's not too late to make things right, is it? Love. We each have a journey. Our own test to face with only the Force to guide us. The Force beckons, but you must listen, and you must choose. It is a long journey to the spaceport. I am confident you will make the right decision. Another, I'm not letting you leave this planet. Oh, she's full of surprises. Mother would be so very proud. One less Jedi to worry about. So you've come to face up to me yourself. The dark side has enslaved you here in DC. Who are you to judge what is dark? You're no better. If it's revenge you want, you will not have it. With that, you'll have to take us both. So you've made your choice.
Why couldn't you love me? I was like you once, young and in love. But I left her mother to follow my master. I didn't know about the child till she'd already been turned to the dark side. You were to be her revenge. And her mother's. It had to end. But your own daughter. Such are the sacrifices of love. 